The table below shows the value of V of an investment in dollars n years after 1995. Determine the linear regression equation that models the set of data above and use this equation to answer the questions below, round to the nearest hundredth as needed. We start by entering the data into the graphing calculator. To do this, we press stat and then enter. Notice how I have some old data in L1 and L2. I'll go to the top of the column, press clear and then enter. It will clear the entire column. So I'm gonna go over to column one at the top, press clear and then enter. And now we'll enter the values of n in L1. So I have one, enter, three, enter, and so on. And now I'll press the right arrow, and now I enter the values of V in L2. So the first value is 15,195, enter, and so on. It is important to check the values here. Notice how there's only five digits in L2, so some of these values are rounded, but if we highlight the value, notice how the real value does show below. So if we go up the column, we can double check our values to make sure they are correct. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. We go back to the stats menu by pressing stat, but now we press right once for the calculation menu and now we perform linear regression, which is option four, so we press four. The X list is in L1, which is correct, which is really N. The Y list is in L2, which is really V, so this information is correct. We are not using the frequency list. Here we can store the linear equation of Y1 if we wanted to, but we're not going to, so we go down to calculate, and then press enter. We are told to round to two decimal places, so A, which is really the slope, is approximately 364.69, and B, the vertical intercept or initial value, is approximately 14,941.40. And we are not using the variables of X and Y, we're using N and V. So our regression equation is V equals 364.69 times N plus 14,941.40. And now let's complete the statements below. Based upon this regression model, the value of this investment was how many dollars in the year 1995? Well, notice that N is the number of years after 1995, which means for the year 1995, N is zero, which means the balance would be the initial balance or the starting value, which is the constant term B in the equation, which is $14,941.40. If we didn't remember this, we could substitute zero for N, so let's also show that. If we substitute zero for N, we have V equals 364.69 times zero plus 14,941.40, but this product is zero, which does give us the value of $14,941.40. And now for the second statement, based upon the regression model, the value of this investment is what at a rate of how many dollars per year? We can answer this question by determining the slope, which is the constant rate of change, which in our case is the coefficient of n. To understand the meaning of the slope though, we need to recognize that the slope m in our case is not equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, it's equal to the change in v, or the change in the value in dollars, divided by the change in n, which is the change in the number of years. So because the slope is 364.69, it's helpful to write it as a fraction and include units. So this is 364.69 over one, but the change in v is in dollars, and because n is the number of years after 1995, the change in n would be in years. So this is one year. So the slope is telling us the value increases by $364.69 per one year, or just per year. So again, based upon the regression model, the value of this investment is increasing 
because the slope is positive, at a rate of $364.69 per year. I hope you found this helpful.